Hello, my name's Rosie from the e-learning development team and this is the slideshow from the York Technology for the York Pedagogy Sessions that we ran in June 2015, explaining how our team can support the use of learning technologies we have here at York. First, we wanted to outline some aspects of the York Pedagogy and how we feel that our team can specifically support these aspects in relation to technology, especially the ones highlighted in bold here, such as designing student work, designing summative assessment, um, as well as how we can develop our relationship with staff in academic departments and work with you to achieve what it is that you want in the terms of using technology in your programme design. Our team's vision statement explicitly states that we want to facilitate ownership by staff and not try to impose mandatory standards or policies. We're hoping that the support that we can offer will encourage staff to embrace the use of technology in teaching and learning. As well, in the learning and teaching strategy, which is currently under consultation, it does highlight the expectation that students have in, the terms, of, in terms of using technology for teaching and learning and as part of their course. And we want to encourage staff to exploit it fully and appropriately in teaching and assessment and feedback. The university also has a commitment to providing high quality infrastructure for teaching and learning. So that includes virtual spaces as well as physical teaching rooms and a lot of online resources and support in using those resources at the university. Most of you will be aware of at least one of these big three technologies that are used across the institution. So we've got Google Apps for Education, Yorkshire, which is our virtual learning environment, or VLE, and also Replay Lecture Capture as well, which is used quite widely across the institution. But to narrow down the focus a little bit as part of this presentation, we want to focus on the six things listed here, talk about some developments over the last academic year, and also how we can support you to use a lot of these tools in the upcoming academic year. And we'll also give you a few key dates over the summer in terms of the VLE summer upgrade. So starting with replay lecture capture, we now have 42 licensed rooms for timetabled captures across campus. And these rooms were allocated to meet demand for requests that were sent through to timetabling. We will provide a list of these rooms to departments over the summer so you're aware of the rooms that do have the full lecture capture capability. We also now have an institutional license for personal capture software provided by Echo360, the same provider that provides the lecture capture solution. The personal capture is perfect for recording at your desk or for more ad hoc capturing in teaching rooms using a laptop if you only want to record a specific part of a, a lecture or a seminar. The learning benefits of personal capture include things such as being able to create targeted resources in a visual way for example, providing follow-up resources to frequently asked questions on a particular topic, or perhaps recording uh, mini lectures in advance if you want to use a more flipped learning model. And we have plenty of guidance resources available on using personal capture on our WordPress site. If you're interested in having a go and getting a license, please do get in touch with us at vle-support at york.ac.uk. We do have these licenses available for all staff, so please do get in touch if you're interested. We've just renewed our license for Blackboard Collaborate for another academic year. And for those who have not come across this software before, it's an online seminar tool made by the same software vendor that make our VLE, who are called Blackboard. Blackboard Collaborate has slightly more functionality than tools such as Google Hangouts or Skype. With Blackboard Collaborate, you can run shared presentations where participants can actually annotate within the uh, software. And you can also create what are known as breakout rooms for group discussion. So it's a perfect way to offer synchronous activity for distance learning students, or perhaps running sessions for students who are on placement and who aren't on campus as regularly to still make them feel like they're able to have that in-person live experience that you, that you get in the classroom. It's also great for guest access, so you can set these rooms up where no university login credentials are required, so it's perfect for organising external speakers or perhaps running online research seminars for people across different institutions without needing to organise temporary IT accounts for everybody. You can also set up these rooms, as they are known in Blackboard Collaborate, for students to use independently. This would be great for facilitating group work 
and gives students the autonomy to control when they access these rooms and no member of staff would have to be present because students can have moderator privileges for these rooms when they are set up. There's also a great app available on both Android and iOS, so we would recommend downloading this and having a play around. And for more information, please do get in touch if you want, would like a demo or more information about Blackboard Collaborate. The mobile app for the VLE, known as Blackboard Mobile Learn, is something that we've had a license for for a couple of years, but feedback from the IT Services Survey, which was held in October 2014, showed that many people in the university were unaware of a mobile app for the VLE. So we decided to run a promotional campaign back in March, and we did see an increase in usage. The app is available on iOS and Android. It's great for accessing course materials, for receiving announcement notifications directly to your phone or tablet. And it also has functionality for posting to blogs and discussion boards. And you can also upload media from your phone, such as photographs or videos. We would recommend downloading the app to have a play around to see what it's like and seeing if it'd be something that'd be suitable for your students. Um, search for Blackboard Mobile Learn in your app store. And when you open the app, select University of York as your school not York University, which is in Canada, and they actually charge their students and staff for use of the app, but we have a completely free license for all staff and students. And once you select University of York, you can log in using your usual details. Next year, there'll be ongoing developments of e-assignment workflows, and we are seeing an increased uptake of using online submission for both formative and summative work. And we've supported departments with rolling out the anonymous assignment submission tool on a very large scale, so please do get in touch if this is something that you're interested in developing within your department. We're also able to support the use of non-anonymous assignment submissions where marking can take place within the VLE itself using a tool called inline grading. Or we can also advise on end-to-end -end workflows for marking offline for both academic staff and administrative staff. So please do get in touch if this is something that you're interested in talking about further. Moving on to a different form of e-assessment, we've successfully piloted VLE exam in early 2014 with the education department and we have worked with them since in this academic year to run an exam for over 200 students on a postgraduate research methods module and on an exam for the BA English and Education as well. The process of VLE exam involves using the test features in an isolated version of the VLE with many of the questions set up in advance with automated marking, which means that the turnaround in terms of marking and feedback is shortened and frees up a lot of staff time to mark the essay questions, which are also included as part of the exam. So you can have typed essay questions as well as questions of multiple choice or other questions with automated marking. If this is something that you think would work in your department, please do get in touch. Um, and we also have the case study available on our WordPress website of the education department. So you can have a look at that to find out their reflections and how it was used in their department. In terms of staff development and support from our department, we are currently developing the York Technology Enhanced Learning Handbook or the York Tell Handbook, which is going to be based on our WordPress site and will be for all staff wanting to, wanting to develop their practice in terms of embedding more technology into teaching and learning. So the handbook will cover everything from structuring VLE sites in an effective and accessible way, right the way through to creating resources and facilitating online activities as well. So it will be perfect for staff involved with distance learning, but also staff who are maybe interested in trying more flipped learning methods with their face-to-face -face sessions. We'll be finishing development of the handbook over the summer, and it will be available before the start of the next academic year. So please do look out for information about that being circulated to your departments. We've got a few key dates for your diary over the summer and um, the VLE upgrade will be taking place on the 14th and 15th of July so the VLE will unfortunately be unavailable on those dates. Please do bear with us and we apologise for any inconvenience on those days. We've also got the UCAS embargo between the 8th and the 14th of August so that just means that enrolment accounts uh, suspended in the student record system and no new accounts will be created in the VLE during those dates so it's just something to be aware of. Finally in terms of what our team can offer in the next academic year 
as well as support for all of the technologies that we've mentioned in this presentation, please do get in touch for one-to-one -one consultations or department consultations on any other technologies available at the university. And if you want to just have a chat to us about your ideas and how we can maybe help with some of your workflows. We're also devising a seminar programme for staff development in the next academic year. So please look out for information on that in uh, September, October. We've got a lot of online resources available, um, such as a Getting Started tutorial um, and a YouTube playlist of videos on using the VLE. That's perfect for staff who are new to the university or perhaps new to using um, Blackboard software as a VLE. As mentioned, we've got the York um, Tell Handbook, which will be coming out, which will be for staff wanting to develop their practice. And we've got a lot of case studies on our WordPress website, so you can look at those for inspiration to see what other departments have been doing um, in terms of using technology for teaching and learning to see how you can maybe adopt some of these approaches in your own work. We also have a lot of guidance documentation on end-to-end -end workflows for assessments. These are available on our WordPress site, but also please do get in touch if you're interested in developing using online assessment methods. To contact us, the best thing to do is email vle-support at york.ac.uk and one of us will get back in touch to arrange a meeting. And our WordPress site can be found at elearningyork.wordpress.com. So please visit that for further information on any of the things mentioned here. Um, and also we have a blog as well where we blog a lot about our activity and our work. So please do visit there. Thank you for listening and we hope that this has been useful. And as we said, please don't hesitate to get in touch for more information and to figure out how we can work with you in the next academic year.